Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will share an analysis related to Tesla. During the previous analysis, one was posted on April 24th. This was the base analysis and the price reached all our targets. And I also posted another analysis on the lower time frame when the price was here. So it was the second analysis related with Tesla after more updates and the bullish wave moved very nice up to the top of the structure. So this is the area where we are right now. Tomorrow Tesla, after the market closes today, Tesla will report earnings. We have to be very careful. That is why I'm going to look at it from a fundamental and technical perspective. During the last quarters, we have three quarters from the previous year, October, it, uh, Tesla reported revenues that were lower than expected, but overall we can see that we have all with profitability, lower than expected and lower than expected. So it could be possible that also this time they can report the same uh, thing as the previous year. So this is approximately one year. If we are going to break this down from a lower time frame, what may have from higher time frame, what may happen? We may see that on a weekly chart, Tesla broke out from this triangle pattern, thus rising the chances for a bigger bullish wave. However, it is not a must that it should continue in this way, but with the data that we have so far, the price is showing a bullish breakout and rising the chances that it may rise. It can also stop up to the top or near to the other structures. However, we are going to use this only as an indication so far. Let's break it down on a lower time frame. And on the daily time frame, we can see that the price is facing some resistance from the left side. This is important look at this area here where the price already stopped close to 265 but we are not in conditions to say that tesla is going to dump from this moment because we have a very big bullish breakout on the other hand because also here there are not many data but we can see that we had one correction that was taking place and we have also another small correction here that is taking this shape here but we have to be, to be very careful because we can never know how the market will react to the data the chances are that we can be in one two three four five wave movement and probably the fifth wave will be aggressive after the report on a four hour time frame this is getting more visible and the price is accumulating as and is taking the shape of the triangle pattern so we have a bullish triangle pattern during this moment the chances are that after the market closes we may see the price to open with a big up if tesla is going to report positive earnings but we are not going to be able to catch this wave so it is going to be difficult we can say that this is going to break out and later it may rise because we can see this opening with the gap tomorrow so which are the possibilities that we can trade on the other hand it can move down but i don't think that it is going to move down too much because we have also this opportunity if the price is going to break the triangle then it may move down to the previous low where it was before however there are two possibilities how we can trade tesla so it depends from uh, the way that you want to trade it one is with with uh, call options you can buy inside this zone considering that the price the tesla is going to report after the market closes even if it goes on your opposite side, then you are going to lose your amount. So let's say if you are going to risk only $100, this is going to be all the amount that you are going to lose if the price is going to move down. On the opposite side, if you think the Tesla is going to move down, but we don't have any 
correction or any confirmation at this point, probably you can buy puts on Tesla, put options. And even if the price will rise further, then you are going to lose the amount that you risk. So it is not going to create more losses. However, so far, this is showing a bullish accumulation. And I think that the chances for a bullish continuation movement are higher, despite the fact that uh, it may come lower than expected as earning reports. It looks a bullish pattern. We have also a bullish breakout on a daily and on a weekly chart. So we can see the resistance trend line that is coming from above. And the chances for the bullish wave are making more sense, in my opinion. So the only way you can trade it, it is not with, stock, with uh, stocks or with CFDs, is the wrong moment. The only way you can trade is with call options if you want to trade the long side. Just buy them and you can see that may uh, appreciate, they may increase uh, very easily. For the targets that I'm going to look at for Tesla, the first structure zone that it may reach easily can be close to the top of the structure. So this is the first structure zone where you can look at to close your profits. And the second structure zone, I think that is going to be the top of the bottom. So this is going to be the top of all time highs here. So this is what I'm looking at for Tesla after the market closes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to hit the like button and follow. Thank you. Bye bye.